Hey guys, Evan here of RLC Entertainment, and I have another uh, Prime Day order. Um, this one, um, I guess you can say, it was like kind of the aftermath, but it still was on sale with a Prime Day price. Uh, at the making of this video, it is currently on sale for like a thousand dollars and some change. Um, but what is this? This is uh, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So let's go ahead and get the unboxing process started. All right, guys. So I tore open the box from Amazon. I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest, right off the bat, because it was not packaged well. There's no padding in this uh, right at all, um, and I do not like this. Hopefully, the, hopefully the phone is still works well. But let's go ahead and open up the phone and see if it's still a good product or it's, or if it needs to be returned. All right. So so far, the product on the box looks okay so far. Um, little look like it's a little worn now this product is supposed to be new from Amazon it did say buy new so yeah, as you see the box does look a bit mangled I don't like that at all back looks fine so let's go ahead and open it up and see what everything looks like All right, guys so this is everything I removed these little doohickeys that says um, do not accept if the uh, seal is broken. Here, I'll better light you up. Do not accept if the seal is broken. And it was sealed. So, all right, this is the usual stuff that you get. Um, SIM injection tool, and also it's gonna be, more than likely it's gonna be like your books and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and take hey, it. Yes, like I knew it, it was the books and everything. So, yep. Quick start guide. All right, and it came with a cable. No power brick, but our charging brick. It's okay, it's an injection tool. And I have plenty of charging bricks, but you know, I still don't understand why a power brick is just not a thing. I know that they say, oh, with sustainability and all that good stuff, but you know, it's just more convenient to have the power adapter or power brick to come along with the device because um, people are probably gonna go out and buy one if they don't have it already. But this is the phone here. So let's turn it over and see what it looks like. Oh, and before we turn it over to see what it looks like, I do love the lift tab. Um, that's one thing that I do enjoy about phones having the lift tab. That'll make it, that way it makes it easier to get the phone out of the box. But let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. And the lip tab is connected to the actual screen protector on the phone for the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, lift this off the screen. And it is in fact brand new. Cool. All right guys, so the device is all set up, looking great. Um, I chose to go with Samsung uh, for like all of my um, smartphone devices because it's just easier for me. And like when I'm actually um, at work or something like that, it helps a lot. It helps a ton. Um, I can connect Samsung DeX to a monitor or a TV and it just works um, for me because it gives you that desktop feel. So I can easily like see in emails and things like that. And plus, you know, Samsung has a cool um, split screen and I love that. So selecting here and open split screen. This is so helpful. Um, especially when I'm like, I want to take notes or anything like that or send messages or check email. Like I could be watching a, um, a documentary or I could be, um, listening to like a podcast or I could, um, like a podcast on YouTube, you know, video podcast, or I could just, um, be on a zoom call. I can do this or any other video conferencing and I can take, um, video conferencing software and I can just easily take notes or do things. It's just, to me, it's very productive. Um, it's very business friendly, I would say. So this is my reason for selecting um, the Samsung device. This is the titanium version of it. Um, I do, I'm happy that they decided to include the um, S Pen. It's very helpful. Uh, the last time I had an S Pen was when I had my, um, my Note 5, and I know that's a, that's a long time ago, um, but I really do enjoy the Samsung devices. Um, they're so amazing, and um, like I say, you know, using uh, this device, I'll be using it mainly for, mainly for the camera and shooting foot, footage, 
It's like a quick point and shoot, although I do have a robust camera. It's a Panasonic 4K professional camera. That's what I normally use to shoot my movies and um, you know, working with different clients. But I tell you, um, one thing that I really would love for Samsung to do is to include an extra USB Type-C port. I wish all phones would do that. Yeah, I do like the charging port, that's cool. I'm glad it's a uh, USB Type-C and I, I do um, like the um, wireless charging deal as well. But I just feel like if it had a USB Type-C, cause it does have Samsung DeX. And I know that they have like the, um, you know, your buttons can do like different things. You can map your buttons to do different things on certain devices. And I feel like if they just had like a extra port, like a USB type C port, another one that you can just pretty much do, you know, for your monitor, maybe it can charge as well. And then you can connect your monitor to it. And I understand like, you know, they already have a port here, which is fine, but I don't know. I just think like, that'll be kind of handy just to have, that could be like a utility feature that'll offer, you know, a, a different thing for Samsung um, to be able to, allow you to do more things with your phone. There have been times where I would uh, go to work and I forgot my um, computer. But to have like this phone here and seeing that it has like the Samsung DeX feature on it, it is super handy. And it has saved me a lot uh, when it came to um, using both my screens at the, the office. Um, and it functions just like a computer. It has like um, the desktop feel. So, Samsung DeX is, in my opinion, is a godsend. And, you know, even at the price point that these phones are, are, to me, it's worth it because you get so much bang for your buck. And these phones are capable of doing so many things just as if you have a computer right in front of you. But um, overall, this is my first impression of this phone. I know there are plenty of YouTubers who have already covered what this phone can do, but if you guys would like to see my take on it, feel free to let me know. But until the next video, guys, my name is Edmund, and I'll talk to you soon.